Here on the timeline, I have a clip that I want to restore the removed audio. The easiest way to bring back this audio is with a command called match frame. Highlight the clip, go up to sequence, and match frame. You can also just hit F on the keyboard as a keyboard shortcut. This brings the clip up in your source monitor with the same exact in and out as the clip on your timeline. One important thing to point out is that by using match frame, we're not affecting anything with this specific clip here on the timeline. For example, by using match frame, if I move the in and out points here in the source monitor, I'm not affecting the clip down on the timeline. But if I were to double click the clip to bring it up in the source monitor, if I move the in and out points, notice what happens to this clip down here on the timeline. Let me undo that. I'm going to highlight the clip again and match frame. So in the source monitor, since we already have the in and out set up, all we have to do is go to this little audio waveform icon, click and drag it onto the timeline. Now for the bulk of you, you probably already see a waveform right here. This is what the action is supposed to look like, but I purposely set up my Premiere Pro to encounter this not allowed symbol. And the reason why we're seeing this is because our source patching for inserts and overwrites is not turned on. Over to the left side of the lock, you need to have one of these highlighted in order for the audio to come down to the timeline. Now, if I click and drag my audio waveform onto the timeline, there is the audio. And because we've brought this in, you may want to highlight both the audio and the video, right click and link. Now we have a linked clip. Very short tutorial, but that technique alone has saved me hours, if not days in the edit bay. If it was helpful for you, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.